Three, two, one. Okay. Uh, आप, आप uh, um, I'm 24 years old or I'm in Karachi City. Um, and I'm a football player. Yeah, I play for Karachi City. And um, yeah, that's pretty much me. Um, I started playing at Karachi United. Um, started with the youth academy, and it was run by two very like excellent football players, Mashal and Khadija, and they taught me everything I know about football. And from there on, like I played two years over there, and then I went to college in the U.S. So over there at my university, I played for four years at the club team. I came back a year ago. And then since then, I've just been playing here, trying to develop our team over here and push football to higher standards. Being a footballer in Pakistan, the future is extremely uncertain and it's extremely tough. And it's something that uh, isn't always in our hands. So right now our federation has been banned by FIFA and there's a lot of politics going on and um, I think it's extremely uncertain and at some point a lot of people do give up. As women, honestly, kudos to all the women's footballers in this country because they train all year round. Like our team trains all year round and we don't get that many tournaments to play. Our most competitive games are probably against Leari boys. And like any women's tournaments we play in Karachi, they're pretty easy. Like we win very easily sometimes. And there's one tournament that you're working towards the whole year and that's nationals. And beyond that, you play nationals so you make the national team, but that doesn't exist. I think the biggest bias is obviously um, people not taking us seriously and people not thinking that women are capable of playing a sport like football in this country. Um, in, that, in terms of that, that adds up to everything. You see that roll over into the way um, the system is right now. We don't get those kinds of facilities and resources just because we're not taken seriously and um, we don't have the same kind of coaching. There are girls who are really, really good at football in this country. There are some really talented individuals and they obviously haven't been put into the spotlight yet. So general idea of people playing football in this country is that women can't play football. They're not athletic enough. They can't work hard enough. I don't know how I can describe to anyone my love for football. Like I have a tattoo of football. I have, it's my life, everything. Like I have posters in my room and being on the field, it, uh, the easiest way to say it is, is just like another world. It feels like you're not in this actual world. It's your escape from everything. But also it's not like it's a different world. It's like the only world that matters. Um, it's just when you step on the field and you play, you forget everything. There's no limit for women, honestly, like once you start pushing yourself, you will realize that you're capable of whatever a man can do and more. And I think that's my message is um, keep pushing the boundaries, keep pushing the norms. Don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid to, to pick a career that's different and um, always work hard and prove everyone wrong. You have to constantly prove everyone wrong about what you're doing.